Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. Avengers Infinity War is finally here, 10 years in the making, 18 movies, it's finally happening. We've been teasing Thanos since all the way back in the first Avengers, I think, and um, yeah, I'm going to do what I did with Last Jedi. I'm going to do my quick review with no spoilers, give my score, and then I'm going to talk spoilers for a little bit, get it all in one big video so I don't have to make another video. The story is... Well, if you don't know the story, I don't know what you're doing watching this. It's uh, Thanos. He's Big Baddie. He's trying to collect all the gems on his glove to kill everyone. And <laughs> you don't really know why until you watch this movie. And yeah, that's about it. Everybody has to team up. We've got people all broken in different factions after Civil War. You don't know what everything he's up to. So that's basically it. We got Thanos coming and we got the Avengers gonna try and team up to take him down. Let's get to the positives first. This is Thanos' movie and he is incredible. He is the best MCU villain by far. They give him depth. Josh Brolin plays him perfectly. He's super, super evil. You, you learn that real quick right off the bat in this movie. And um, I don't know, there's just a lot to him. I really liked his character arc, and he is the star of the movie, he gets the most to do, and, um, you know, while I don't agree with what he's doing, at least you understand why he's doing it, and you get a good backstory for this villain, which MCU has not always been great at doing. Another standout for me was Gamora. I've always kind of liked Gamora, but I wasn't like a super fan. She's really good in this movie. As many of you know, she is the stepdaughter to Thanos, so... There's a lot of story involving them too, and she's really good in the movie, and I liked her. I also liked her and Star-Lord's um, storyline. It was really good. No one is really bad in this movie, and it is just a monumental feat that the Russo brothers were able to put so many characters in this movie. Not only give everybody a significant moment, but to, you know, create a cohesive story that makes the movie really good, but also have all these characters interacting with each other and it's so fun to see characters that have never met before interacting with each other it never gets old um, and then you know you have characters seeing each other again for the first time in a long time um, all this stuff plays out perfectly I really enjoyed the pacing in this movie it's a really long movie it's got tons of characters but for the most part it you know it starts with an action scene it ends with an action scene it's got tons of action scenes between this is one giant action movie um, and it never really lets up or slows down, but really I feel like it's a very balanced movie and if you cut too much of the few character moments that are in there, uh, it, I don't think it would have been as, as satisfying of a movie. I think the main complaint people might have is because they focus on certain characters more than others, if you have a favorite character that isn't in the movie um, as much, then you might be a little bit disappointed. The ending is very ballsy, and some people may not like the way it ends. I, most of the time, I don't like movies that do some of the things that they do in this movie, but for some reason, I dug it this time, and I'm going to give it a pass because I really like the ending. It really makes you think. It's a great way to leave you hanging for the future movie, and that's one thing I want to get across here. This is a part one of a two-part movie, and my feelings and opinions may change on this movie once I see the second part. Um, you know, it, it, it leaves you on some cliffhangers and some things happen that I don't know if anybody was expecting. And, um, you know, we'll just have to tune in for part two or whatever Avengers 4 is going to be called and see what happens next year. It's going to be a long year wait, uh, but I really like this movie. Um, it's my favorite movie of the year so far. It is one of the top five Marvel movies for sure. Um, I, I loved it. It's crazy, like I said, the culmination of everything. How the Russo brothers were able to pull this off. Um, and yeah, it's fantastic. I plan on seeing it a few more times. 
I'll definitely be buying this on Blu-ray, watching it again. And yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm going to give Avengers Infinity War a 5 out of 5. My first 5 out of 5 of the year. Um, let's go into spoiler talk now. Uh, so if you don't want to watch the spoilers, then uh, turn this video off. Otherwise, let's get into it. Um, like I was talking about, Thanos and Gamora have a really good relationship. And um, when he sacrifices her... <laughs> at the at, towards the end of the movie it's very hard to watch and one thing that will make me mad in the next Avengers is if she lives or they bring her back somehow I want everybody that died before the snap to actually be dead and that includes Vision I want Vision to be dead I want um, Gamora to be dead because her story was so perfect in that um, I want you know Loki and Idris Elba they need to be done. Um, and, you know, then that will make the everybody who died in the snap, you could pick and choose. I would like in Avengers 4 if Captain America or Tony Stark, I'm starting to feel like Tony Stark would be the best, to actually, you know, have to sacrifice it for this new set of Avengers. But who knows? I'd be fine with it if it's just those four before the snap. If any of those before the snap somehow survive, like a Loki or a Gamora, I would be pretty upset because I just, you know, it would make, it would undo a lot of the greatness that I think this movie has um, because this is a very deep movie and it has a lot of layers, even though it's a non-stop action ride all the way through, but they could definitely undo some of the things that happened in this movie and I wouldn't like that very much. Performances were great. I didn't even know Peter Dinklage was in this movie, so when we saw him as the giant dwarf, that was really cool. The two things are Rocket and Thor. I mean, their chemistry was great. I loved their interactions. Um, Spider-Man, uh, I mean, when he, you know, turns into the dust, <laughs> it is, uh, whew, that was a hard thing to watch. And even though you know, okay, Spider-Man's fine, there's another Spider-Man movie coming. It was still, it was brought you back to when he gets piled under the rubble in Homecoming. It was an intense scene. Doctor Strange has a lot going on here. Um, you know, as you're watching it, there's several lines of dialogue right from the first time I watched it that really uh, stuck out to me. You know, he tells Tony it has to be this way. Um, he also, you know, he gets in an argument with Tony in the, earlier in the movie and he says that he will do anything to protect the Time Stone. Then he just seems like on a whim just, you know, gives it up to protect Tony, a guy he just met. That with his, you know, seeing the 1.4 million ways and only one way they could win. All that together, I think, is going to make Doctor Strange uh, very integral to what is going on here. Um, you know, I think that he saw the one way to win was to let Thanos either think he won or to let Thanos win. And, um, you know, we'll see in the second movie how that all plays into what's going on. But um, I thought that was genius. It makes this event film crazy and makes you want to talk about it with your friends and all, you know, theorize of what's happening. And, you know, it's basically how I felt after the end of Force Awakens. You know, you wanted to theorize and come up with all these things. But I think that as long as, you know, they keep those four characters on, I'll buy almost anything. Um, the tease for Captain Marvel at the end, that was pretty cool too. I don't really know a whole lot about Captain Marvel or actually hardly anything at all. So I don't know how exactly she's going to be, you know, the one savior, which they kind of lead up to at the end there. But, you know, it really made me want to see the Captain Marvel movie to learn about her because I'm imagining in my head that she's like a Wonder Woman type character for the MCU. Um, so that sounds pretty cool. The lack of Ant-Man was kind of disappointing for me. Um, that's why in my negatives I was talking about, you know, if you really like the Hulk, you might not like him very much because <laughs> the Hulk's not in this movie a whole lot. If you really like Captain America, this is not really his movie. He, I mean, he's there. He has one great moment, but there's... You know, he's kind of just there leading the troops. Um, so, like I said, if you have these certain characters that you're really wanting to be featured prominent in this movie and they're not, like for me, I really like Ant-Man and he wasn't in this at all. Um, I could care less about Hawkeye, but I was pretty disappointed by no Ant-Man. But we are getting Ant-Man and the Wasp here in a couple months, so that'll probably hold me off until... I'm sure he'll be in part two. The music was fantastic. I like how they took themes from all the different uh, characters and movies and put them, kind of meld them together. That was another thing. You know, when the Guardians showed up, it felt like a Guardians movie. When the 
Thor showed up, it had a little bit of that Thor flavor to it, you know, when Captain America showed up or when Black Panther showed up. Uh, it just felt like each one had their own moment and they were like felt like they were from where they were from and um, it kind of just blended together almost perfectly in this film. I got emotional at the end you know I think it was when uh, Spider-Man I don't remember when it was I gotta watch it a few more times but when everybody started disappearing I was freaking out <laughs> um, but then once you know so many happened then you're like okay well, something's going to be done here. They're going to bring all these characters back. I think that people that aren't into the Marvel movies and just, you know, go to see this because it's an event film are going to be like, what the heck is going on? But, um, like, my daughter, I don't think she fully comprehended what was going on. Um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe she did. I know when Groot <laughs> evaporates, she was like, not Groot! So, so... Uh, that ending, like I said, it's going to throw some people off. I Normally I don't like stuff that, you know, fake deaths. I don't like the time stone being used a lot. I really liked it in Doctor Strange. Um, and I liked it in this movie, but if they keep using it, I, I'm going to start, it's going to start getting on my nerves. Um, because that scene, that's another thing, I haven't barely even talked about Scarlet Witch and Vision. You get some good backstory on them, and um, Scarlet Witch is just great in this movie. And that scene where she basically kills Vision um, is crazy. She basically keeps Thanos from doing what she's doing, and that scene is just so great. And then Thanos just uses the time thing and gets it back. It works this time, but let's not do it again. That's what I'm saying. This second movie could really end up altering what how I feel about this first movie. Like right now, it's, you know, top three Marvel movie for me. It's best movie of the year, but next year, I may have to readjust on this one because it depends on what all they do. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I want to see it many more times. I gave it a five out of five. Um, I think that's all the spoilers I'm going to go into on this. Um, yeah, it was pretty dang good. It was emotional. But funny, the humor really worked for me. I think there was not really any jokes that didn't work for me. Maybe one or two, but uh, it was just really funny. One of the darkest MCU films. Great villain. Uh, everybody got their moment. Members that I didn't really like very much, you know, stood out this time. Like Gamora, like Scarlet Witch. Um, Iron Man was great as usual. I just. I really liked that Spider-Man was fantastic. Uh, yeah, this is a definite, definite awesome comic book movie. Now we just gotta wait till next year to see how it all ends. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with all my reviews and reactions, hit the subscribe button. While you're at it, hit the like button on this video. Comment down below. Some of my last videos should magically appear here. Click those. Until next time, this is Rainy Cage. Peace out.